Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Toka Moment. My name is Toka Makinwa. Yay! It's another Wednesday. This is so addictive, isn't it? I can't believe it's another week already. Now, if this is your first time of watching any one of my videos, you are most welcome. Uh, we do this together. The vlog is very much yours as it is mine and uh, I can't even tell you guys how amazing you have made my life. Every time I think back at the very first video that became the next video and the next video and the next video and we're three years deep. So if this is your very first time of watching the Toke Moments YouTube channel, make sure you come again, make sure you subscribe and make sure you join the family because we are a family. Sometimes we're very calm and sometimes the crazy comes out sometimes it just has to because we talk about some sudden issues that we just can't hold our arms as we talk about them and today is one of those days because today is one of those topics that I, I don't even know how to begin but we're just going to start from somewhere and it's basically about the hardest things people find to talk about in relationships People are so close. I mean, they're dating. This is your boyfriend. This is your girlfriend. And there's some certain topics that seem to be off limits in the relationship. I.e. when are we getting married? I.e. the money talk. I.e. the sex talk. People do not talk enough about sex. There's that shyness. I don't know. With women, you find out that girls talk to their girlfriends about sex. Stop lying. You do it. Girls compare notes. Girls talk about, oh my god, we finally had sex and it was so good. Oh my god, we finally had sex and he wasn't good. Oh, he didn't know what to do. Ugh. He's such a great kisser. Mm. He doesn't know how to kiss. Mm. Guys just always putting speech on all my tongue. Ah, no. Oh my god, the guy is a headmaster. Ugh, please, that guy doesn't even believe in foreplay. People talk about things like that. But the one person you should be talking to is your partner. And it's weird because people don't do that it's almost as if they see sex as that untouchable topic let's just not go there you know things are just okay right now so let's just manage there's so many women who are managing so many women who are managing they don't even come the man does not even know how to work the machine yes I say machine because I'm you know looking for the best possible way to put it and they'll just lie down there some of them have even resources to just you know faking the orgasm let me just fake it so that at least it's over and focus on something else. You feel like every other thing is more important than that. But the truth is, he's not getting what he wants. You're not getting what you want. And then you start cheating on your partner because you believe that sex is just a chore. It's almost like, you know, I like her, but she's just dry. She doesn't know what to do. Guys also talk to their friends. Guys do that. They say, oh, that sex was good. Ah, that babe, she's good. She's this, she's that. When the sex is not good, they might not say much because they believe that it's somewhat embarrassing that they're going through that. So this week I was talking to a group of people and you know the topic of size came up like you know you know do you really think that size matters? Do you think that you know the larger the guy is down there then the more exciting the sex is? Do you think that size matters? And I found myself thinking about that. Well I think it's a it's an individual thing. Do you know what I mean? For some people you know they like big penises. For some people they believe that big penises actually hurt them. For some people they believe that you know no, you know, let it just be something that I can see and manage and not something I'll see and say, yay, all of this is going to go inside of me. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I personally do not necessarily see size. I think that someone who has a small pee, -pee can be extra active and he can know what to do with that. And someone who has a big something might just be clueless. So really and truly, it's not really about the size. I can only speak <laughs> I can only speak about what I know okay and I don't think that the size should matter that much just as long as it's not really really tiny do you know what I mean I think that sometimes having it really excessive does not necessarily mean that you would have a good time and having it not so excessive you know you might be someone who knows what to do a few tricks and you're like wow mm, not bad at all okay so officially I'm a dirty girl I'm going to wash my mouth and my face and make sure that when next you see me I don't talk about sex but it still boils down to communication. Communication is lacking in so many relationships and there's so many ways you can go about it. If you feel like your partner can do more, you don't have to come out and say things like, oh, that sex was horrible. You don't even have to do anything. You can just say things like, hey, you know, when you do this, I really, really like it. 
or when you touch me this way I really really like that or mm, that really turns me on and they get the message indirectly they get the fact that oh if I really want her to enjoy this then this is what I'm going to do or all those magazines all those sex games all those sex toys all those shops utilize them you know say to your partner let's do something crazy this weekend let's hang off ourselves let's do something crazy this weekend let's you know buy this so let's do something crazy this weekend i read this article and i think that it was really funny it cracked me up when you're at work and you read those articles and you can say to yourself mm, let me just send this to him wow this is something that i'd love to try with you tonight that way you're spicing up your sex life why can't you talk about it why are you shy for you to be able to take off your clothes and get under the sheets with that man he has seen you finish why can't you let him know how you feel you know some people have just resorted to just being there most especially women they just take it in and feel like oh you know after all maybe let me not say it before he thinks like i'm exposed or before he thinks that i'm a bad girl before he thinks that i've been around so you now keep quiet and not say anything and now be suffering some people do not even know how to talk about this whole hey you know i don't have an orgasm or do you or is this normal what can we do this is what i think we should do to make sure that this happens this is the position that i like they can't do ha they feel like it's a sin they feel like ah the man will look at them funny they feel like the man is judging them they feel like i can't say that to ah but then you can say it to your friend so why can't you say that to him why can't you just say to him that babe i love that position mm, that this some people even watch porn with their partners some people are that deep you know they feel like watching porn makes their sex life better and they do it i think that if people were a bit more open if people actually um you know talked about these things more if people felt like okay hey you know let's do this let's try this oh you know it would give the relationship some form of spice and then you know if the sex is not that great before you know what's going on because you're trying to make an effort at it it could get better when it comes to money huh you have to have that talk you have to ask him how much do you earn yearly these are my dreams these are the things that i want to do this is where i'm coming from from this is what i'm used to let him share his own this is what he's used to this is where he's coming from these are the things that he likes to do you need to talk about finances there's nothing to be ashamed of you need to talk if the guy could do more he needs to let you know where he's at he needs to let you know the capacity that he's running on that and he needs to let you know where he's headed i feel like people just jump into these relationships and jump into these marriages without asking themselves these questions and then when something happens it's not like ah this is not what I bargained for. Ah, this is not what you told me. Or, ah, this is not what he said. Or, ah, you know, things like that. People need to communicate more. You know, that is my message this week. Communication. What are you doing about your communication levels? Okay. Hey, you better have that conversation. It's very, very important. Sex is extremely important. So is your finances. So is when are you getting married? Yes, those guys that are looking at me. Some people can't even talk about it because they feel like, oh my God, I don't want him to feel as if I'm pressuring him. Ah, what if he doesn't take my phone call anymore? Ah, what if he does this? Ah, and then they suffer in silence. That's suffering in silence syndrome in a relationship. You're the only one suffering, oh. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am at Tokestat with a double R. Until I come your way again, be good to one another and have that conversation today. Talk about it.